Hey y'all, let's take a look at markup and markdown. The definition of markup is, let's say you're a, oh, I don't know, let's say you're a store owner and you sell solar flashlights. Okay, so you buy them for $10 a piece, you mark them up to $13. What percent is your markup? You go, okay, I marked it up $3, so that's $3 out of 10, that'd be 30% markup. Okay, a mark down is you would, you know, um, let's do an actual actual example here. And mark down, let's say Dr. Jones bought fedoras for $40 a piece. He marked them up 70%. What was the price he charged his customers? Well, you would go $40 is what he bought them for. You can't just sell the same, the stuff at, at the, what you co it costs you. You can't make any money that way. Okay, so you mark them up, let's say he did 70%. Well, the question is, don't forget, we're asking a question. What is 70%, you can write that if you want, of 40? Okay, well, then you can go, that's gone. Seven times four, $28. He marked him up $28, so he charged $40 plus $28, which is $68. That's the price he charged, okay? Bill bought shirts for $40 each. He marked them up. 170 percent what was the price he charged his customers okay now this is the deal um, if you mark something up 70 percent we already know that that's 28 dollars if you mark it up a hundred percent you tell me if he, if he buys shirts for 40 dollars he marks them up a hundred percent what's he selling for 80 bucks right because he's marking them up 40 and he buys them for 40 so that's 80 total but he's marking them up even more than that don't forget, if you if you increase a percent by something, you're not just doing that number, you're adding that number to 100, right? So the question here is, what is 270% of 40? That's what you're asking. And you can go, oh, okay, I've got, uh, let's see, one, that goes that, and the zero there, I got that, and there's a one, 27 times four, oh, that's easy. 25 times 4 is 100. So 2 times 4 is 8. There we go. That's the price he does. There you go. Okay. Let's try another one. Susie saw that the coat was marked down 30%. If the original price was $80, what was the price of the coat now? There's two ways you can do this. Okay. If something's 80 bucks and it's marked down 30%, that means you, you are now paying what percent of the original cost? If it's marked down 30%, that means you're paying 70%, right? So then you would ask yourself, what is 70%, if you want to do it this way, you can, of 80? Then you can start chopping, right? Zeros go away. Zeros go away. 7 times 8 is 56. That's it. Now, that's the easier way, I think. You could also go, oh, I'm going to figure out what 30% of 80 is. Okay, well, what is 30% of 80? And I go, okay, eh, that's gone, that's gone. Three times eight, that's $24. Okay, now that's how much it's gonna be marked off. Now, let me take that 24 and subtract it from the original price, 80 minus 24, and you're gonna get the same thing here. So I'd rather do it the other way. We just figure out if it's marked down 30%, then that means you're paying 70%. If it's marked down 10%, that means you're paying 90% and so on. Just do it that way, a little bit easier. But make sure, go ahead and you, you should already be in the habit of training yourself to be doing these, like turning these little sentences into algebraic equations. Just keep on doing that, okay? Very helpful. You're gonna be a whiz at these word problems in a couple of years, okay? If you're not dead. All right, the sale price of the Algebra Lectures to Sleep By CD set Hold on, wait a minute, hold on, we gotta change it. We're in the 1990s now, so we, we got an MP3, there we go, okay, okay. It was $120. It had been marked down 40% for the sale. What was the original price? Now let's think about this. The sale price is 120. That means it was marked down uh, to, you know, whatever it was, but from whatever it was before. It was marked down 40%. So the, what, what was its original price? It's gonna be higher than 120, right? So you don't wanna go, oh, what is 40% of 120? No, 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 that's not it. What is, oh, wait, oh, no. 
how do we do this? Uh, don't forget any of these percent problems you can do two ways. Either you can go blah, 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 and then make an X equal one, you know, all that. Or you can go and fill in the blanks. Okay, we'll try both, all right? The sale price is $120. It had been marked down 40%. Okay, so if something is marked down 40%, what percent are you actually paying for it now? 60, right? So in other words, this is the sentence. 120 is 60% of what? That's what you're asking. $120 is 60% of what? That's what you're asking, right? Okay, so let's turn this into an equation, right? 120 is 60%, I don't care, 6 over 10, of what? Oink, there we go. And again, since I like going left to right, I'm going to write it like this, okay? And you know what to do, right? You, you multiply both sides by 10 over 6, right? Okay. Well, you know, 120 times 10, that's 1,200. 1 times 6, hey Siri, what's, what's 1 times 6? 1 times 6 is 6. That's what I thought. Okay. 1,200 divided by 6 is 200. So the CD set, what, oh, MP3 set, was 200 bucks, okay? Well, let's try it this way. The sale price, blah, 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 $120. All right, mark down 40%, so that means it's 60%. What, okay, there we go. So I got my what, I got my 120, and I got my 60%. That's what I need to fill in the blank, right? 60%, piece of cake, 60%. What was the original price? Uh, let's see, was that bigger than 120 or less than 120? Bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the bigger number is on the bottom, so I don't know the bigger number, so it's that. And so was it 120, 120, there we go, I got it. Okay, so you might even look at this and go, wait a minute, if I go 60 to 120, I'm multiplying by two. So 100 multiplied by two, that's gonna be my answer, and of course the answer is 200. There you go. Okay, I know this is not exactly the easiest thing in the world, these kinds of problems. But figure out in your head, you're gonna go, hmm, on this one, well, it's down. So it's gotta be more than 120, and I gotta figure out, 120 is 60% of something. I don't know what it is. You can do either one of these ways you want to do. So, okay, let's try on page 343, the practice problems, and uh, give those a whirl. Try A first, pause it. Okay, the price is eight grand. He marks it up 20%. So the question is, what is 20% of eight grand? Okay, zeros, and there's another zero, there's another zero. Now I have a two times 800, that's 1600. That's what he adds to it. He adds that to 8,000, which breaks at 9,600. There you go, okay. All right, pause it and try B. Now this is, you know, it's okay if you don't, you know, this isn't 100% great, but just pause it and give it a whirl. Copy the old way we did the one a minute ago, right? Okay, go ahead and try it. Okay, the suit was marked down 20%. The sale price is 120. What's the original price? Obviously the original price is more than 120, right? So it's marked down 20%, so that means you are paying 80%, right? So $120 is 80% of some number, right? $120 is 80% of something. Oh, $120 is 80%. $120 is 80% of something. $120 is 80% of something. Uh, $120 is 80% of something. $120 is 80% of something, of multiply something. I got it, there it is. And switch it to go left to right which all good-hearted people do. And then you just multiply by eight or 100 over 80, right? Okay, so let's start chopping zeros. There's one, there's one, and then 12 times 100 over eight. I mean, you could even do, chop this 12 into eight, four goes into that two times, and then four goes into 12 three times, 
And three over two, no. Oh, 100 over two. 100 divided by two is 50. So there's a 50. Three times 50, 150. So could that be a right answer? It's marked down from 150, now it's, yeah, there you go. There's our answer. Now, if you didn't like that version, I'd still, you know, I'd still make myself mess with it a little bit. But if you don't like that, just go like this. I got, it's marked down 20%, that means 80%. Um, sale price, well, there's one, and then what? Okay, so we know, let's see, 80%, just right, 80%. All right, the original price, is it only more than 120 or less than 120? Obviously more, because it's going to be marked down the 120. So let's go with that. Okay, so the bigger number is on the bottom, so that's my number on the bottom, and then 120 goes up here, and then 80 times x is 80x, and then 100 times 120, well, 1 times 12 is 12, and then 1, 2, 3, 0 is 1, 2, 3, and then chop off a 0, chop off that 0, 8 times some number is 1,200, do the arithmetic, boom, there you got it. Not saying those are the easiest things in the world, but once you get a method, use the method. Be very happy. Okay. All right. See y'all next time. Love on mom or dad or grandma or whoever's homeschooling you. Okay. Thank them today. See ya.